Bill and Brendan, your, your characters have very similar dilemmas. Bill in, in uh, Living and, and Brendan in The Whale, and that you're both, uh, both characters have, have learned they have very little time left and they want to do something meaningful with their time left. They want to make their lives have meaning. I wonder if working on that affected you, if it uh, made you rethink the way you thought about that in your lives. Somebody asked me the other day about how many times a day did I think about death. <laughs> and I said, you know, about, I don't know, 35 times a day. <laughs> time, you know, you buy a new pair of shoes, you think, maybe. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> how many more pairs of shoes? You, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's not morbid, particularly. Anyway, to your question, um, I don't think doing the part made me think any... You know, I, you can't think more about death than I already do. <laughs> but, uh, you know, but it, uh, but it was about... Uh, one of the things, apart, apart from mortality, it's also about procrastination and how, what a corrosive element that is in everybody's lives, and certainly in mine. I, I procrastinate at a kind of Olympic level. You know what mm, I mean? I, nice. can, I can put stuff off... Well, look at me. Until now, I can put stuff off. Mm. Uh, and, uh, and I, but the, what interested me was the way that one man, you know, how that individual impulse to put stuff off until tomorrow because it's scary or for whatever reason is manifest in society. And this guy that I play works in an institution, massive. They build a massive building which, in order to put stuff, to, to procrastinate, in order to make sure that stuff doesn't get done. Dad? Dad? Michael? You know what I mean? Mm. I like the way that... Uh, it was interesting the way that uh, that individual impulse is manifest in society. You know, governments are formed in order to make sure stuff doesn't happen. You know, it's like... Mm. It's kind of like that. But whether it... But in terms of mortality, um, I don't think it... You know, I mean, I don't think it made me think... Well, I don't really think I'm going to die. I kind of know I am. <laughs> but I don't really believe it somehow. Mm. I think that's how you get through it. I don't know. There must be some check or balance in my brain. I mean, I know it's going to happen. And sometimes in the middle of the night, you know for sure. But, <laughs> but, in, but right now, I don't really believe it. I don't think maybe I'll be the exception. <laughs>